Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carissa and this is Rissa Explains It All. Alright guys, so today as you can see by the title, I'm going to be breaking down my $1,800 week with Uber Eats. Um, if that is something that interests you, then um, let's get started. First, what I want to do is go ahead and tell you guys about the new things that are on Uber Eats app. Um, two new things are, in California at least, you can do prescription delivery drives now. So I've gotten um, a few rides where I'm delivering prescriptions. So I just wanted to let you guys know to be extra safe with those ones. And for me, I record everything I do with those prescriptions because I don't know, I don't want someone to lie on me and say they didn't get a prescription when they did. So um, just to look out for those and to be careful with those because you don't want to get in any sort of trouble. Um, the second new thing on Uber Eats app is called Uber Connect. Um, Basically, I did one of these too. Uh, somebody ordered balloons from Party City and I delivered those to someone's house. So Uber Connect is basically a service where you can, um, if you are the consumer, you can order things from like a local store and have them delivered if you need flowers delivered or anything like that. Um, that is what Uber Connect is. And then as a driver, you will be delivering those um, items to the customer. So just a few new things on the app that you guys should be aware of. All right, so let's go ahead and get into my day-by-day -day breakdown. As always, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and post a little screenshot right here, or right here, probably right here. And I will be showing you guys my breakdown. All right, guys, so on here, we have January 25th through February 1st. Okay, so let's start with Monday. Um, on this day, I did um, 11 hours and 26 minutes, 31 trips. Um, Uber paid me $169. I got a promotion for $45 and my tip was $70. So bringing my grand total for that day to $285.07. Um, this is when I didn't realize I started to get promotional bonuses. So I would have chosen a higher promotion bonus if I would have known, but I didn't realize. So that's why you're seeing the $45 there. Um, so then moving on to day two, I believe it was a slower day for me. I did, I was online for eight hours, but they go off of active hours and active hours is between the time you start the trip and between the time you end the trip. So, um, technically I was on online for eight hours, but for five hours and 59, almost six hours, um, I had work, um, $99.92 from Uber. I had a $15 promotion that day and then tips were $53.34, bringing my grand total to $168.26. Moving on to Wednesday, also a slower day for me, five hours and 29 minutes. I did seven hours and 30 minutes online, um, five hours and 29 minutes, $97.63 from Uber and $54.05 from tips, bringing my grand total to $151.68. All right, Thursday is when it's gonna look a little crazy because I'll tell you why. There's something called Prop 22 in California. And I'll have you know, I actually voted against this because I feel like I just have my reasons. But anyways, um, Prop 22 basically is Uber's way of paying you back for the work that you've already done is how I take it. Um, so they'll pay you for mileage or if you didn't make the minimum wage in that hour, that is where you will get paid back um, by Prop 22. It's probably a really bad explanation, but if you go on Uber's website, if you're in California, I'm not sure if this is in every state, but it will explain how Prop 22 works. So this day I did almost nine hours, uh, six hours and 56 of active time, 19 trips. Um, I did $129.46 um, from Uber. My Prop 22 earnings were $411.28. Basically this is money they owed me from the last two weeks. And then I had tips of $77.16, bringing my grand total to $617.90. So for me, when I do Uber Eats, I actually like to build up my whole week and then cash out. I don't like to cash out daily because I feel like if you cash out daily, you spend that money quicker and I just, I don't like the whole cashing out daily. So 
for me after I got that prop 22 because I really wasn't expecting it I was like okay I'm gonna go extra hard these next two days so I can I was trying to get to two thousand dollars which I could have but then I got tired so um, Friday I did 10 hours and 12 minutes 8 hours and 25 minutes active 25 trips $138.38 or 37 cents from Uber and $88.37 from Tip, bringing my grand total for that day to $226.74. And then Saturday is going to jump up again because I hit a promotion. So I did 12 hours and 23 minutes online, 10 hours and one minute was active, 35 trips. I did $192.63 from Uber, $115 in promotion, and $106.29 in tip, bringing my total to $413.92. So with that being said, that brought my grand total to $1,863.57. Now if I would have continued to work on Sunday, made an additional $250 or so, I would have hit that $2,000 mark. Um, so in total. I personally was in my car for 58 hours and 43 minutes. Uber calculated 47 hours of that in two minutes. I did 149 trips and uh, the breakdown is like this, $827.66 if I was not to get Prop 22 or any promotions. Um, and then in my promotions tab, I got $175 for that week, Prop 22 for $11.28 and then lovely people who tipped me that week were $449.63. That is my breakdown of my almost $2,000 week with Uber. Um, I will have you know though, because I did make $1,800 that week, and then the following week, which I'll show right here, I made almost $1,100. Um, last week, I did not get a Prop 22 because they said I exceeded the amount for my city and my state as a bi-weekly payment, which I do agree. Um, I made almost three grand in, you know, nine days or something like that. So I do agree. I did, I mean, I did meet it, but I still believe that we should be paid for mileage and all of that regardless of capping out. But so last week, I'm just gonna go into it. Last week I made 991.99. Um, and that was without my Prop 22 benefits is when it would have been paid. So as you can see here, they did not pay me out the following couple of weeks for Prop 22 because they said I made enough the other two weeks. So anyways, that's kind of how that goes. I kind of just wanted to break that down and show you guys because it is totally possible to make really good money with Uber Eats in LA. I know some people who do it in Orlando, some people do it in Texas. Um, there's other markets that are very profitable as well. You just have to put in the work. Don't get discouraged by, you know, any rude customers possibly. Also, the higher you get as far as your ranking on the platform, the bigger the bonuses will be. So for instance, I, I have the opportunity every week to make $600 extra because I'm a platinum member. That means my promotions are higher than someone who may be at the lower level, which I'll just go ahead and tell you what the levels are. It's called Uber Pro. So you have blue, gold, platinum, and diamond. So um, this is based off of how many trips you take and how much each trip is and how many points you get for each trip. So it's kind of confusing, but you can look it up on Uber Pro on the Uber website. Um, so yeah, I get the opportunity to make $600 extra a week. So technically, generally averaging, if I do a full 12 hours, I'll make 200 to 250 a day. So if we do 200 times seven, that's 1400 plus 600, that's 2000. So I can make $2,000 a week if I really wanted to, it is possible. So for all you Uber drivers out there, keep grinding and anybody who is looking into getting into it, this is your sign, do it now. And that's all I got for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.